I'm Alexis Kazambolidis, and I'm here with Tim Geddes. Let's him host. We're about to talk Smash Brothers. The director of the game releases a new screenshot every night. Tim, what did we miss this week? Okay, so the biggest thing this week was actually last night's screenshot. We get to see custom movesets on the Wii U version mm -hmm. for characters we already know. So here we get Donkey Kong's third standard special attack, Storm Punch. So it's his normal B move, where we all know you charge it up and punches, but now like a tornado comes out of it. Ah. Yeah, this might be like after like a little tropical freeze or something like that. But what's interesting about this is in addition to the Mii Fighter that we saw at E3, mm -hmm. where you, there's the 12 customizable moves and you can have all these permutations and stuff of different combos and attacks, the normal characters we know can also have these, these things and um, a good note for this is you can't play in the real online matches for this because that would just completely upset the balance. And they, they made a point to say that they understand that and the option will be there when you're playing with your friends to play with these custom movesets, like locally or online. But for the, the real online battles with anybody, it's just the normal characters. Awesome, cool. All right, moving on to number two. Yeah, so the next one is we get, we get Pac-Man. This was Monday's picture. Pac-Man's standard special move, so his B, his neutral B, is the bonus fruit. So as you charge the move up, the longer you charge it, the bonuses will change. So it goes from like, you know, the strawberry and all the different bonuses that were in Pac-Man, yeah. like the fruits. Yep. And it goes up and it goes in the same order as the original game, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, there was a, um, we saw a little bit of this in the, the trailer, actually too, the Pac-Man release trailer. And I like that they're really incorporating a lot of the Namco lineage and like history within Pac-Man's character. They do it too with Sonic, mm -hmm. which we see later, actually. Let's jump ahead to that. <laughs> There's a screenshot of Dr. Eggman's Egg Robo that's gonna be in Smash Run in the 3DS version. Right. Just one of the little enemies. And that's cool. Like, I don't know, did, did you play Sonic back in the day? I did. So yeah, a little, you know, little enemy from that. Yes. Pretty cool. Um, and we see the, the trophy here of that character. And I think that's cool that we're getting a lot of the classic villains from the other games. We've seen um, the Kremlins from Donkey Kong Country, a lot of the Kirby enemies, obviously Goombas and stuff from Mario. So it's cool that we're seeing some Sega villains as well. Cool, all right, next one. Next, speaking of Smash Run, here we get to see, um, it's not Smash Run, it's another 3DS game mode that is called Tro Trophy Rush. And Sakurai says that it's a bit different from Coin Launcher in Smash Bros. Brawl. Smash Bros. has always had these really weird mini games. Mm -hmm. Like, the, in addition to the board, the platforms, and like break the targets and stuff, the, like in Brawl, it had the, the coin launcher where you like, it's kind of like pinball in a way, where you just like shoot balls to get, like, collect these coins that you get the trophies. And like, Melee had this thing where you like have to hit the trophies into the little net. Right, right. Um, so, this one, it looks like you're gonna do a Smash Run esque. Uh, mode in the 3DS game to mm -hmm. get trophies and collect all these like Nintendo history collectibles. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then the last one. Final one. We get to see a bit more of the Mii Fighter's moves. So Mii Fighter, you get the three different move sets. There's the gun, the gunman, the brawler, and the uh, swords, swordsman, and sword fighter. Excuse me. And here we get to see their their standard B move. We got the Shurikens of Light, Chakrams, and Gale Strikes. <laughs> so, if you look at these things, they all, they're all the reminiscent of other things we've seen in Smash before. Right, so, right. The, the little ninja star there, it definitely looks like the, the ninja level from um, Nintendo Land. Mm -hmm. Like when you have the Wii U and you're mm -hmm. just like doing that stuff. So it could be from that, or it just could be similar to Grey Ninja's standard B that we see in this game, because he also has shurikens like that. Then the, this little discus thing that the, uh, the we see the gunner shooting out, I'm not exactly sure what that's from. They're called chakrams here. I did a little quick Google search on that. Yeah. And they're just a type of like another ninja throwing accessory. And I uh, couldn't find any Nintendo lineage there. So they might just be like a standard, like, here's a me. Me's are crazy. They do whatever they want. That type of thing. The final thing, mm -hmm. Gale Strikes. There was an item in Twilight Princess that allowed your boomerangs to have the, the Gale attack, which is the, the tornado. And Link also in Brawl and now in the Wii U version has a similar thing. And we're seeing that here with the sword fighter. Like you slash and then, uh, but it's instead of throwing a boomerang, it's just you slash your sword and then the boomerang, or the tornado goes out. Right. So yeah, Very that's cool. it for this week. Nice, which one was your favorite? I'm definitely the, the customization, all that stuff. Like 
The idea of being able to play as all the classic characters we know, but just with new revised moves, is going to be awesome. And I was a little worried that it was going to be um, just like, oh, there's like an electric effect that goes off when you do this move, whereas before it was a fire thing. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it looks like they're actually changing it and giving characters moves based on their personalities and their games, and that's really awesome. Cool. Awesome. Well, for all things Smash Brothers, keep it locked to IGN. Hey guys, I love Smash Bros. If you love Smash Bros, you should make sure to subscribe to youtube.com slash smashbrosign. It's going to be your final destination for trailers, gameplay, and analysis of all the latest Smash Bros content. You should subscribe, because it's going to be awesome.